I traveled to Togo for the first time and well come with me to see how the adventure went while I was coming from Bene Republic if you have not seen my Bene video then you should definitely check it out while I was coming from Bene Republic we entered Togo and I was excited like wow a new country wonderful and I saw the murals in this new country if you know Bene Republic also has murals so while you are coming from Benin into Togo, you'd also see murals that are quite similar to the one in Benin Republic. I stayed at my friend's place during this time, which was really good. It helped me to reduce my travel budget. I had a lot to eat. She really fed me with a lot of delicious delicacies. And funny enough, I, only, I didn't really get to eat a lot of Togo delicacies. She's partly Nigerian, so she ate more of Nigerian meals. But I also got some takeouts, and the the vendor cooked shito, which is a Ghanaian stew. And I thought it was nice. That was the first time I, I tasted shito. The first stop on my adventure to Togo was China Mall. <laughs> In China Mall, I was mind blown. Like I was mind blown. I saw varieties of things at really low price for Togo Sefa. I even got this beautiful trophy load that I could not take my eyes off. I also got some old materials like you know sponge um, and a lot of other things from China Mall. I I, I went twice. <laughs> I, and I even got some concealer, some perfumes and everything while I was there. I went to Ice and I did not regret China Mall was really cool. Next stop, Harmony oh, Signature. Harmony Signature. Signature is a beauty. And you know, I took a tour of the surroundings. They have a gym, they have swimming pool, a very big swimming pool, they have a spa and tons of beautiful beautiful facility and they also have a playground for children and they have an ice cream place if you have a sweet tooth you definitely go to Amos Signature because you see a lot of things to do there this is fine I'm not gonna lie there are more places that are finer than this place in this place wow you even get gym I also explored the nightlife in Togo. I went, I actually went to see Colombe de la Paix and I ended up taking a walk around Togo. Oh, but when I saw it online, all these things were lighted up. And you know, some parts of Togo are usually very dark. Walking around Togo tonight. Everywhere is so dark. You can only see the cars passing. Ooh la la! Ha -ha. But there are other parts that are lit up with street lights. And I basically took bike. I took more bike while I was there, you know, to fly the surroundings. My friend told me there was a cafe around, but by the time we got there, time had gone. So we went to a roadside bar and we got suya and, you know, I, I got more to drink. And we just had fun. See, we were ready to go back home. But smile now. What kind of face is that? <laughs> tired face. Are you sure you're tired? So why do you want to eat meat? Since when meat is soup. <laughs> no. And while I was at my friend's place, I did some akara frying. She already made the mix, so I was like, let's fry. So I busied myself by frying. There were some times that I just stayed at home and I was just chilling. You know, just I, I didn't just want to travel and go on adventure and see the attractions. I also wanted to Ex experience what it feels like living in these countries just like i did while i was in Benin. i also did this in togo you know i just stayed and chilled 
in the house and let me tell you about my favorite place in togo if you know i always have a favorite place in every country I go. my favorite place in togo is club do ep i hope i'm correct yeah this place has like every kind of hard activities that you like um i did the escalade i did the um, horse riding The rope, all the rope, please. Mm -hmm. Is that though? Hey, there, let's just change. Put your leg, promise. When I touched it, I was like, wow. Can you see? Very easy. Daddy, I ate this chicken sandwich, but the peanut butter was too much, so I found it very salty. But I would have really enjoyed it if not for the peanut butter. And while we were going, we took gozem. Gozem is like Uber in Togo, but this one you can use keke na pep. You can use bike for gozem like that, but we took keke na pep. And then while we were going, we couldn't find club to pick. Until we later realized that it was near the airport, so you would see the beautiful airport on the left side, club you pick on the right, just drop at the junction and by right is just enter the junction. You see, club you pick. I also had some fun watching little children, you know, ride horses because they hold horse riding classes. There was a time I just sat down and just took in my environment because the environment was really natural. The next day we went to Amoni Signature. We couldn't bowl the last time. So this time around we were able to go bowling and it was fun. I went bowling for the first time ever. And sincerely I didn't really know what that thing was counting. <laughs> but I'm sure I won a few times. So the part I didn't really like about Togo was that there's this form of confusion, especially with these government houses. 
Um, I can't really remember what they call them. I'm going to put it on the screen anyway. Um, so I think they said they were about two or three. I went there. I couldn't. I didn't really understand how to navigate my way. So there was one I later saw, and when I visited, I, I wanted to visit during the week, but I was told on the website to visit during the weekend because that's when they would they would open or something like that. And I visited during the weekend. And they didn't want to allow me to enter. I already knew on the website that I was going to pay, or at least I saw reviews that you were going to pay. So I went and after I angrily left, the soldiers called me back to come and check inside. When when I got inside, everywhere was dark. It was it was it was cool to see, but it was basically just there. There was really nothing to see. And then the guard that was taking me around told me if I'd come during the week, I would have been able to access this. And I was like, okay, I saw on your website that. I should not come to you. So sincerely, I was really pissed off because I was like, where exactly? Apart from the private owned attractions, I didn't really get to see any public owned attractions. Even the Colombe de la Fe I wanted to see what was on the website or on the internet it was different from what I saw in real life. On on the internet, I saw that it was littered up and it was very beautiful. But when I got there, it was just there. This really pissed me off about Togo. The fact that there were no government attractions to enjoy. There was also another one I went and it was locked and they said we we're not allowed to come in. I was like, what is this? I think I took some videos outside also and then I left. I was really pissed off. So that's like made me rate Togo really low for tourists. Like, what are we supposed to do when we go there? Another place I wanted to visit was Palime. I heard about Palime and I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave Palime for the next time I visit Togo. This time around, I'm going to come very prepared so that I'll be able to enjoy the attractions I didn't get to enjoy while I was there. So, tell me, have you also been to Togo or are you planning to go to Togo? Do you think you are going to go to Togo after seeing this video? I think you should go anyway because your experience might be different from mine. While I was posting about how I didn't really enjoy my experience in Togo, if someone messaged me on Instagram and they were like, they really had a great time in Togo. And lastly, I made my hair while I was in Togo and it was really nice, you know. While I was making my hair, I got to chat with the locals, even though we, we had language barrier and we had to do a lot of sign language to understand each other. It was really fun. I think Togo people are really nice because I had a lot of people that were really nice to me while I was there. So that's another reason to go to Togo. My next stop is Ghana, so she look forward to my Ghana video. Now let me give you a cheat cheat. I really enjoyed my time in Ghana. Let me know what you think about my Togo video. Thank you very much for watching. I can also watch my Ben Republic video. Kindly like, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.